Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Zell. So today I have here my variegated philodendron bellietti. I am going to uh, give you guys an update. See those? It's browning and yeah, I'm going to repot it into a bigger pot. I'm also gonna remove all the leaves with like just yellow see this and this and the newest leaf is also all just yellow so I'm just gonna remove those and then I'm gonna put it on a plastic moss ball I think it's going to because I want it to actually just climb on the moss ball because this one is basically useless it's not a uh, climbing on this DIY moss ball so yeah I'm gonna repot it put it on the plastic moss ball and then remove all the yellow leaves that has no green on it because it's just starting to brown anyway so I got this last year I think oh, oh yeah December for uh, our fifth wedding anniversary so I have already had it for seven eight months so yeah i'm gonna get all the stuff that i need and then we're gonna start with this let's do it okay we're gonna uh make the moss ball first put it all Okay, it's done. And now we're gonna just repot this. Check the roots. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's been uh drying up on this pot and look at that healthy roots yay oh i don't wash my pot though oh i need to ah look for it <laughs> maybe on the garage so yeah, just trying to there you go. There's a lot of roots, no no root that I can see. So it's actually it's just drying up so look 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 how uh chunky this cutting mix so yeah uh i'm also just gonna remove the yellow leaves see that this one so small so i think this is the biggest leaf 
and then another one i don't want this one there you go this one all yellow and <clears throat> this one has already starting to brown and let me see so yeah i'll just remove the newest leaf i don't need that it's all yellow too and some of the older leaves are like this one this one i think because i removed this from last month from my mail's book cabinet so it's not getting uh, as much as humidity so i think that's why it started to to brown on the variegated part of the leaves also uh I, it dried up so quickly outside the cabinet and i underwater it obviously so yeah So I might trim this leaves later, but yeah, I'm just going to clean this up and then I'm going to get my the pot that I'm planning to put this on. Put it in here first. Okay, this is the pot that I am planting this on it's too it's too big as you can see from this five inch to i think this is eight inch maybe but it has a lot of roots and i want i don't want to put it on this flimsy nursery pot i want it to be on a like it's stable pot like this it's plastic but it's not flimsy because i want this to be stable on the but like that so yeah there's a lot of roots so i'm not worried about uh it's gonna get a root right and there's uh plenty of drainage holes there so yeah let's do it um just put a little bit of There you go. So, I was actually planning to propagate this uh, on December, like one year anniversary of this plant, but uh, I decided to just let it grow big because this is uh, probably my most expensive plant and honestly i i'm not worried about just getting back my money i'm not because this plant is getting the prices is getting cheaper now and i feel like it's not worried to cut it as of now i'm sure i'm gonna cut this i'm gonna cut uh this when it grows a little bigger but as you can see, the internode is just so close to each other. So I feel like it's not really worth it right now. Just putting a little bit in there. So I don't I don't need to put a uh, moss all the way there. But yeah, I want it to be secured. And yeah, put it back again. Oop, like that. So I want it to really touch. Oop, like the moss, so it will actually grow on the moss mm. 
<laughs> so as I've said, this is my most expensive mountain. Apparently, I'm gonna ah uh, spend that much money on one plant anymore. <laughs> But yeah, a few years ago, this is like oh, expensive, expensive. But now they're everywhere. They're still on like probably. Oh my gosh. 500 to up like the price range but they also just started to I think issue culture this plant but you have to be aware that sometimes like the tissue culture plants they they started with variegation and then when they grow uh older and bigger they lost the variegation so i saw people complaining about that on like a purge site on facebook so just be mindful about that because tissue cultured are this uh sell it as tiny tiny little plants and it's still expensive because sometimes there's still uh, 300 to 400 like the small uh, tiny tissue culture ability I just decided to let it grow because I wanted to grow as big as my giant one upstairs you see that uh, yeah Should I? I'm not gonna put like lots of what you call this I'm not, I mean I'm not gonna fill it up with soil because It's a big pot, but honestly, the roots are big, uh, a lot already, so it's fine. One day, I'm still gonna put this, I'm gonna try to put this, but I think not this year, not next year. So, oh yeah, let me get the moss. I'm gonna try to put the most first oh, you guys this is the biggest I've see that but I need to stand up so I can put this oh this is too wet just put it like that I need to get more uh, Moss and this plastic uh, moss pool. I love this so much. Uh, my majestic. Oh my goodness! It loves that plant. Loves this moss pool. It's already growing a uh, second leaf since I put it on this moss pool, and it's like sizing up. There you go. Just and I am going to put this plant on the master's bedroom because I want to keep an eye on it and also I don't know yet because I don't know if it fits there on the dresser because I'm gonna try to finally work on that grow light there and the new shelf but we'll see on the next video so this moss has a little bit of um moss pool, a little bit of perlite on it. So it's, 
helps the most not to be compact, you know, like erase, erase, erase. But yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna put my large mayo because I'm planning to put this here the mayo right now, and I don't know where to put that <laughs> space. We need more space. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I'm sure it's gonna take 84 years for this plant to climb up all the way. I tried to put this away from the sunlight, I just put it, I mean, from the light because I was trying to make it because I know the regular like belly thing, and they're not getting enough light. To, uh, growing this long internodes because you're trying to reach for the light. I was trying to do that, but mm. I, I didn't put it under the grow light. But it's not. I don't think it's working. Cause the <laughs> the leaf that the newest leaf it gives me is all variegated. It's all yellow. So I was trying to put it in there so it will grow more green and it will uh, grow longer internodes. But it didn't work. Ooh, I didn't know I made a lot of mess in there on the front. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's okay. Let's see. Oh, that's fine. Most is fine. And then I'm gonna try. So it will I'll make sure it's gonna attach on this thing. Oh gosh. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna ask you guys what is your most expensive plant because <laughs> mine is this bellietti and it's crazy because right after like the next year i got this i mean my husband got this for me december 2023 i mean right after that like the next year it's like the same site on it see that i got this they posted another this almost the same like same size plant as this one when i got it for almost half of the price <laughs> it's so annoying but yeah it's fine it's fine and even as oh how can I as expensive as it is I'm not too eager to get back the, my money like propagate it right away because I don't I don't want to mess it up I just want it to grow big like my normal belly so this we're just gonna I think it look nice right um because when i had this plant in here it's like when i put it on the like a surface it all the leaves touches like the surface too because it's like leaning like the leaves are all droopy like that so yeah put more Oh, uh, I was just trying to, oops, just trying to stabilize.
Do you get it? This is fine. No. More on the back. There you go. I think it's good. Oh, you guys. Just so happy I finally did this. Okay, I, I might try to cut that off. Hopefully it don't continue browning. Oh, I don't like how it looks. It looks weird. But it's fine. This one. This one. And this one, I don't know how to cut this off. I think that's it. I'm gonna need to clean this up. You guys, we're done. <laughs> Looks nice now, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it with uh, system granules and then water it. And then I'm gonna have to find a space for this on my master's bedroom. So, yeah, it's I think it's gonna be a quick video, but it's fine. I just wanna make sure i finally do this because uh i kind of neglect it on the uh plant room i just put it next to a window and as i said earlier i'm, I'm trying to make it grow longer node uh inter node so i can propagate it but it's not working it actually give me all variegated leaves instead of kind of more green because it's not getting as much as light but yeah uh, I'm just happy that I finally did this and I'm going to give you another update maybe after oh maybe on December yeah so if it grows better from now so yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have any question ask me and if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and yeah I will see you in my next one bye